So I am going to continue to switch up the classes. So I've recently played Rogue and Warlock, so let's go with Garish Hellscream. Uh, helped quite a bit by the good class cards in this League of Explorers set. Alright, so Shield Maiden is a little bit less good in Arena because you can't really gain the synergy off of the armor. Uh, still decent, of course, and better than the rest. Though surprisingly not by that much. Upgrade. 4 mana 2, 5 is icky. I'd pick Ice Rager over that. And then the question is would I pick Frostwolf Warlord over the Ice Rager? I think I have a little bit more respect for Ice Rager than most. So it's a 5 mana 4, 4 versus a 3 mana 5, 2. And of course the Warlord can be better, but when it's better, you're usually winning anyways. I'm gonna go Ice Rager over Warlord. I think this might cause riots. I think 3 drops are really important. Shredder. Good Rider is good, but. Warrior Hero Power is not so good. But it's better than the rest, of course. Screwjank's good if I actually get around to getting mechs. Assassin is decent. I might just pray that I get mechs. I have one already. This is so slow. I already have two slow ish cards. This is so good if it actually works. Get him. Horkron over the other two. I have a improved opinion of Corkron after running it so much in Patron. Tall Strider. Bender's a little bit better since I will usually use my currently non existent weapons to do many damage to myself. Mech Warper has some slight mech synergy. Okay, Junk Bot is absolute trash. So it's between Ginny and Clockwork Giant. Clockwork Giant is kind of trash, but. I'm trying to find an excuse to play it because of the uh, mech synergy. That's dumb. So I guess I picked the 5 mana 4 6. I also have no 5s. Deck's kind of junky so far. But I'm sure we can execute a good plan. I think. Obsidian Destroyer. This card's uh, pretty good. Dr. Boom, kind of. Ooh. Gimme, give gimme. Give More of that, please. So I don't have very many early game minions, so Direwolf Alpha is uh, worse than usual. Spectral Knight, I don't really need that heavy of a card. And Maiden of the Lake is just bad in Warrior, because the hero power is so bad. Bloodsail Raider, improved. I have very few twos, gotta pick those up. Dark Iron is good. So is Spider Tank. Spider Tank is a mech, and that's pretty important. Turn 3 Spire Tank, turn 4 Screw Jank. It's really good. I also have a Mech Warper. I'm gonna kinda aim for a slight mech deck, I guess. There's, a, there's entirely a chance that I have no minion to play Dark Iron Dwarf on, also. Battle Rage. Okay. Probably Sun Fury here. 2 mana, 2 3. Slight bonus. Beats the other two. Ah, oh, I got my Bomb Lover now. Over the trash there. Argent Commander. Do I have any beasts? Also, am I even going to consider that card even if I do have beasts? The answer to both is probably no. Do I have anything that kills my own Acolyte of Pain? Or does damage to my own Acolyte of Pain? The answer is actually no right now. So I wonder if a uh, healer is best. I have no whirlwind effects, no taskmasters, and nothing that deals damage to my own stuff. But I do need threes. I don't need fives. Ooh, Shredder. Yeah, another Obsidian Destroyer. That's a mech. How much mech do I have? One, two, four, five. Probably Hungry Dragon, but if I got a few more mechs, I would choose Cogmaster. But I'm sure that's what everyone says when they see Cogmaster. Fierce Monkey or Flame Juggler. One, two, three, four. I have four two drops. I have three three drops. I could use both. No, we'll go with the monkey. Ooh, Harathi Weaponsmith is so good, but I really need a two drop. But Harathi Weaponsmith is too good. Siege Engine. Five, five, five. Really hoping to get some twos at the end here. Okay, well, that, those are two excellent. Uh, choices between Harvest Gloom and Anoyatron. 
<sighs> Anoyatron is a mech, Harvest Golem is a better mech. I actually have absolutely no synergy with Anoyatron in this game. And an Impa Master. Okay. Did I only pick up one weapon? No, I picked up two. Wrathy Weaponsmith is a weapon. Uh, my late game is really strong. Two Obsidian Destroyer. Coda Rider. So the problem is going to be getting to the late game. The middle game is strong with two Shredder and uh, Hungry Dragon, Weaponsmith, Bomb Lobber. The three drop slot is strong as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Acolyte of Pain is kind of weak. I can't remember what I picked Acolyte over, but I think it wasn't very exciting. The main problem with this deck is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 drops. And that is a problem, especially in Warrior. So how well I'm going to do is going to depend quite a bit on how lucky I am in drawing this one copy of Axe, but the good news is uh, Warriors always start with Fire or Axe, that's a rule. So I'm not feeling very confident in this, but it's very highly variable based on whether or not I draw the Fire or Axe. I think any game where I draw the Fire War Axe, my chances to win the game actually improve by something like, something crazy like 20% or something. Like that Fire War Axe is by far the best card in this deck. I am going to take a fairly grim outlook on this deck though, on guess 5. Alright, it's a good start for this deck. I drew a 2, and I drew um, what might be the best 4 drop in the game, in Arena, so I'll keep her. Um, I'll probably think of an exception afterwards, but this card's really good. The best common. Yes, even over Shredder. Coin Fierce Monkey is, uh... Now I'll play the Mech Warper, and then the Weapon Smith will finish off the Mech Warper. Wow, OP start. Ooh, the Axe. It's probably worth executing. And then I bring out the monkey. tempo swing up for him because of the Argent Protector, but I had a big tempo swing up because of weapons. Move. Tempo up, uh, value up, etc. stuff. So in this late game, it's going to be good to get the high attack, low health minion out of Ice Rager. I'm hopeful that Ice Rager will be able to pull off a good trade here. Hmm. He played low health minions, so that's bad for Ice Rager. Look 
at that. Ice Ranger is so strong. Killed a minion and is still a card. Now time to lock it up with uh, Dr. Boom. Filling in for Dr. Boom is Obsidian Destroyer. Who may actually be better than Dr. Boom in this specific situation. And we'd be talking about the situation where the opponent has kings but not consecration. We just need to get the other Obsidian Destroyer out, and then I will be a 1-1 one -one making machine. I'll put that Paladin to shame. I think I used all my weapons, right? I did. The Axe, the Weaponsmith. Oh, Synergy, kind of. Oops! Okay, I was just going to trade the 3-3 three -three and the 1-1 one -one anyways, so no mistake was made. That was a little bit of a surprise. Okay, kind of a mistake, honestly. Because I could have armor plating. Oh, well. No armor plating this one. I couldn't have armor plating, it's also a spell. Alright, well then I played that perfectly. I have enough room. Do I use my 1 2? Yeah, who cares about my health? It's not like you will ever have word control. So bravely. Scarabs. Three, six, seven, ten, twelve, thirteen. This one wants to be dead, and I can leave a one one for the five five. Play around consecration a little bit, even though he obviously doesn't have it. Maybe I should um trade this. So, if I do this, and I hit him for 8, he'll be at 9, then there will be a Scarab for this. If I do this and this, I'll hit him for 3, he'll be at 14, and then I'll have 3, 6, 8, and then uh, 13, 16, and I'll leave a Scarab for him. Uh, scarabs have I made with this guy? Seems like a lot. Better than Dr. Boom, confirmed. Good, I got a 2 drop. Grab the keep that. 2, 3, 4. With this deck, as long as I get a 2 drop, I'm not going to be ambitious and try to get another 2 drum. Oh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a plan. I 
go. Uh, let's see, he played it first, so he's not going to be able to deal damage to my Harvest Golem. Play the stronger card since I have an Imp Master coming up behind. Alright, well the good news is... If that wins the 50-50 flip and goes at the Imp Master, I have the Execute. Um, although I probably wouldn't use Execute, I would just play Shredder. Ogre Brood has a 50-50 chance of hitting. Please miss. Darn. I'll trade these two and no, I won't. Missed the 2 1. Alright. I'll take it. Do I even have anything in this deck that can be. Do I have a spell that can be cast on the minion in this deck? When I think about it, I don't actually have very many spells. Yeah, there's no spells. It's just the 5 mana 4 6. Am I sad that it missed? Or am I happy? Oh, there are spare parts. This is no place for mortals. If I kill a 1 1, the 2 6 is going after this. Eh, face. None may steal our souls. Yes! Dummy. <laughs> what a terrible attack. So if I play a Weaponsmith, it's only going to hit the 1-1. One, one. Maybe better is Piloted Shredder. I'm going to play Obsidian Destroyer next turn. It looks like the 2 damage weapon is not very useful right now. Even if Piggle draws me a card, I'm not really that happy. Right now, my problem is not uh, cards, but it is making sure I don't die. Oh. Well, take two. It is debatable whether or not he should have returned the Maiden of the Lake back to heal, but they would have been anti-tempo. Alright, so I'm going to want to Coda Rider on the left, and then summon the War Rider, the War Coda, and then taunt the Kodo in this. And I might be able to get some, uh, I might be able to double up on the Coda Rider. He has a total of uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 13, 14 damage potential. And he would need to get through uh, 17 of it in order to kill the Kota Rider. Oh, I don't have the mana to do that right now. If I Kota Rider hero power, I'm at 11. I take out this one. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11. And I have a 1-1 one, one taunt. And I'm at... Yeah. Wait, 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 I think I'm making a huge mistake! Oh my gosh! No, no, I was right. I could have survived if I had done that play. No, I couldn't, because that buffed something. I was thinking, oh, am I missing something? And I was missing something. It's okay, I got her done.
The play was bad, but all the plays were going to be bad, I think. Smith upgrade combo. I had that last turn, but didn't seem like it was going to be good. I'm actually just going to use upgrade due to how the board looks. Oh, that's a mech. <laughs> that's a mech. Defensive systems online. If the cards are really bad for him, I actually have a chance here. Stabilize. Real chance. to do is really dodge death this turn. If I can dodge death this turn, it's very likely I win. That's a pretty big if. He didn't have anything last turn, so odds are good. I wonder what this card that he's held for a while, but hasn't played is. It's too bad if he had played that, I think he would have won. I'm sure he feels regret over that. Uh, what, 3-6? I always press this button. I don't think I play Hungry Dragon this turn. I have to clear the board pretty much, unless I have lethal. 3-6, 8-9, 18, which I don't. Good button. The question is, do I hit the 9-4 into the face? Next turn I'll have 10, 13, 16, 19, 20. 3, 12, 15, 18, 23. No, absolutely not. Maximum safety. Uh, so I died a lot fewer things on this turn than last turn. Reporting for duty. Follow the rules. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so no lethal. But on this turn, I gate. I go out of range of pretty much anything. One day I'll be a real knight. Out of everything reasonable. There's a few unreasonable things I can lose to. Most of which are hilarious. Poor Ice Ranger. I want to keep that just because it's my best four, especially in the early game. And I'll keep that really good three. And then hope for a two or a three. Oh, always lucky. Wow, this might be the best hand possible. I got my best two, my best three, and the best four. Could even coin out a two if I felt so inclined. Nah. Actually, 
pointing out this would have been pretty reasonable against that. I was hoping for using it for some kind of utility. If it was Mechwarp, I'd probably have coined it up. But Sunfear Protector can actually give some utility. Let's see, am I too scared? Oh, well this is really good. I was going to play Fiery uh, Monkey. But discounts are good. Guys, if you look at the first four letters of Fierce Monkey, you would never know that it wasn't Fiery Monkey. Wow, the discounts. The discounts keep rolling in. Great mech deck. So I can save my 2-1 if I play the Weaponsmith. Fierce Monkey does the same thing. I do want to deny a draw, and then I'd like to try to avoid Mechwarper dying, which is possible with Weaponsmith. So I'll play Weaponsmith. And then since 2 is not completely equal to 1, I'll take 1 extra damage. The breakpoints for 1 health and 2 health on minions are not absolutely there. If I get the taunt on the Spectral Knight, that used to actually be a combo way back in the day for Druid in Constructed. We must cleanse the sun well. Watch this. So I'll get the Ginny of Zephyrs and the Sun Fury Protector. Hmm. The light protects me. I actually want to give this plus one attack. Six plus two. And then this has one health, which matters here. Now the question is, do I want to burn six damage on a one one? Okay, not even I'm that insane. Maybe if I didn't vocally say that, I might have done it. I would have been like, ah, oh, this is trade. Trade, trade, trade. Ah, right, let's just trade, trade, trade. Too bad that they can't hear that, or perhaps it's for the better. Like, leave, you. Oh, I'm sorry, Qtana. I guess I'm the one who gets the uh, better of that bug. Okay, do I want to pass up on the chance to get a 2-drop if I have one of the best 4-drops in my hand? And I think I will. Uh, but I could always get lucky and get a 2-drop. Always lucky. Good enough.
Mm, screw jank. That's actually the best 4-drop if I have a mech. Valley right there. That's a four mana four seven, part of which has charge. Ah, pretty strong answer. Hmm. This is actually interesting. Uh, I can either play fiery war axe or upgrade, and upgrade is actually better. to being able to play Pilot and Shredder. Uh, it's the Guy Basher weapon. Could have gotten Obsidian Destroyer. That would have been nice. So I have the choice to trade in either the 2-1 one or the 1-1 one one and take 5. And I will, uh, I will upgrade my 1-1. One one. Ha, <laughs> upgrade. It's like, pay 5 life, upgrade your 1-1 one one to a 2-1. Deal. Technically, I've already earned one of the health back because I did one extra damage. Well, no, I didn't. But I will do one extra damage this turn. Fiery War Axe, hit this, play another Shredder. Make him very sad. Make him salty. Why does he get all the Shredders? Delightfully salty. So far, I've been getting quite lucky with the, uh, with getting a 2-drop, which is good variance. Right, I'll keep the 3 and the 4. This is tempting. Could coin out the Shredder into a Junker. That would be really strong. But I feel like going for the chance of a 2 or a 3 is better here. I've also been getting the coin... Which I think is better in this deck. Oh my gosh, always lucky. Yes! My win rate just went up by 20% in this game. Hmm. Acolyte of Pain will quite possibly not be played this game. And Wild Growth is kind of OP on turn 2 still. Pretty good. Hmm. Five four. I think I will play an acolyte. It's sweet no, Shredder. You know what the problem with five fours is? Shredder. Actually, I would have preferred a 3 2. No. Oh, well. oh. 
Wrath Guard is actually going to end up being better. That was not a very strong turn 7 play. Oh, he didn't trade. Wow, this has gotten quite interesting. So I can do this and this. Can stabilize behind the weight of my plays. Doctor Seven is going to uh, make sure I can never get killed. Well, Doctor Seven will create a farm of scarabs, a herd of scarabs, something like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Gotta demoralize them with the thanks. So I want to play Weaponsmith first, so I can clear the board. Three plus two, four plus two. Yes. Well, I'm in combo range, but it's kind of silly, right? What we do. Welcome to the arena. Are any of these mechs? Sadly, no. It's a pretty good abomination. It's okay. It's time for Doctor Seven to close up this game. You're in trouble now. Time to build a wall. Very League of Explorers. I'll build a wall, and the Obsidian Destroyers will pay for it. I can see. 